Hey guys, today I'm gonna to give you five tips to help you make better videos and better vlogs on your phone. I actually made a video just like this over two years ago. It's one of my best performing videos on the channel. Amazing comments, loads of likes. You guys seem to love it, so I knew I had to make another one. With all that being said, let's get started. Here are my five more tips for vlogging on your phone. Tip number one is getting yourself a tripod. So you may be thinking, why would I need a tripod for my phone if I'm out and about and I'm vlogging all the time, I can just use my hands. What a tripod allows you to do, it's not complicated but it just allows you to switch the shots up. So right now I'm holding the tripod and I'm vlogging like this, but if I just give me one second and then boom, my hands are free. If I needed to show you something, if I needed to do something on my laptop, if I needed to get up, go and move around, if you wanted to film a bit of a time lapse, whatever you wanted to do, it gives you an extra option if you wanted to put the phone down and do something else. Tip number two is using microphones and audio equipment. There's a couple of different options when using microphones for a phone. Here I've got a Video Micro Pro which goes on cameras, but you can actually buy a little adapter that plugs straight into phones. Obviously iPhones don't have an aux cable, but you can buy an adapter for it. So microphones like this can sometimes work with phones. You just need to check what phone and what microphone you've got. But I wanna show you another way you can actually improve your audio. If anyone has any headphones or has AirPods or anything you listen to music to or anything that you can take calls on that has a microphone, these will be a better option than using the phone. So here is just a simple audio test using the iPhone's microphone. It won't be bad at all, this might sound okay. So just get an idea of how this sounds. Um, yeah, just using the audio from the phone. And now we're using the microphone on these headphones. These headphones allow me to take calls, so everything you can hear right now is coming through the microphone on here and not on the phone. So if you're using earphones, AirPods, headphones, whatever you're using for a microphone, there won't be a dramatic difference between that and the iPhone's microphone. However, if you're in a crowded place where there's lots of people, lots of noise, lots of traffic, then the iPhone microphone is going to pick most of that up. Whereas if you're using AirPods or headphones, then it's just going to pick up the voice closest to it. Tip number three is using very similar in-camera transitions. You don't need any fancy editing. You can do all this when you're out and about vlogging. So here's a quick example. I'm going to cover the camera with my hand, and then when I release my hand, I'm going to be a different location, just like magic. So check it out. There we go, easy as that. What I did was cover the camera with my hand, then start recording and release it. And it's just a nice creative way of changing the cuts. Another way of doing it is bringing the phone into your chest so that everything goes dark, just like this. And then this clip started with the phone against my chest and I brought it back out. So you can just cut the two clips together and it's just a creative way of moving from cut to cut. Tip number four is using overlay and B-roll footage. Now you don't need to be a top level filmmaker to be able to do this. All you need to do is film a clip like I'm doing now and then for example if I was to talk about my MacBook Pro or if I was to talk about my headphones or my AirPods, as you could see then, we just put some footage over the top. So it just changes the video up a little bit so we've got some talking head footage now and all of a sudden we've cut to the MacBook Pro, the headphones and the AirPods. It just adds a nice flow to your videos and a quick top tip for this is if you're talking about something in a video like this and then I mention some new shoes that I've just bought, make sure you go and film the new shoes so you can overlay the footage like I'm doing now. Last but not least, tip number five for vlogging on your phone is adding lots of cuts. If you don't know what I mean by adding lots of cuts, this is what I mean. I'm changing the angles all the time. I'm moving around, filming in different locations. We're changing the shot quite often. But changing the angles, changing locations does add a little bit of a variety for your videos. As you can see in this video you're watching now, I filmed a lot of it, sat on the sofa just to talk in head as you've been watching, but then I've also been filming a couple of iPhone clips. It just changes it up a little bit, it keeps the viewer engaged, you're still watching me now. Perhaps if I was sat just in one place, just one long video of me sat in the same place, talking about the same thing, it might have got a little bit boring, but instead I've changed the location, I've changed the angle. It's very simple to do, but it's just a very easy tip that you can use to help improve your vlogs. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed those five tips. And if you've got any suggestions, leave a comment down below, I'll be checking out the comments. Please hit like and of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel. So I'll see you guys very soon, peace out.